good morning and good afternoon uh, good evening to everybody here thanks for joining with us uh, for the seminar uh, titled global connectivity uh, texla americans role in uh, training it professionals in the global connectivity so this is the presentation overview the, the presentation has been uh, planned in a way that like introduction about texla american university zambia about the accreditations and affiliations then uh, what is the global need for it professionals in africa especially uh, in uh, especially in africa across the globe then third one is like what is the term global connectivity what it refers what exactly it means the next one is role of texla american university in preparing graduates in global connectivity what is the training model uh, texla american university's training model for training the graduate especially in it then uh, school of it programs what we are offering here then uh, next one is like successful graduates texla american university zambia is just established in the year of 2016 and it which has been accredited by higher education authority of zambia uh, so additionally like which has been accredited by health professional council of zambia uh, zaco also we have registered the programs uh, which we texla american university is offering is registered with uh, zambia qualification authority we are a member of world directories of medical schools then uh, and general nursing council of zambia then zaki uh, association of african universities uh, hrm uh, zambia institute of human resource management uh, global demand for it professionals uh, day by day uh, all the across the globe the companies have started moving their manual operation into information technology oriented so there is a huge uh, requirement for uh, it professionals or it skilled professionals or across the globe is increasing day by day uh, being a nation uh, africa is a nation which we have like uh, 40 percentage of the youth population across uh, sub sahara region so it is mandated that like the sk it skills are necessary uh, for their survival and their, their uh, upper employable employability uh so this is the world bank report uh, which has been uh, recently shared the as per the world bank report skills required for 2020 estimation is in sub saharan african region is uh, 230 million okay so among this like for example like among this if you see the chart what we have mentioned here among this uh, skill sets what we are requiring here is for example application based technology then especially it skills and knowledge then digital skills analytical skills uh, then additional skills entrepreneurial skill there are various skills so among this like uh, the skills the major requirement is computer literacy Uh, moreover like theoretically should even though the uh, graduates are having a very good skill set or knowledge about like uh, the it uh, theoretically practical aspects they are failed to prove themselves so it takes uh, employers uh, employers to train the uh, graduates fresh graduates uh, into their platform or the software or technology whatever they are using it consumes more uh, man hours so for that like uh, the always there is a avenue or always there is a opportunity for the graduates who has been technically trained and well uh, with some basic technologies in uh, uh, it okay in addition to that the modern the, the we are coming across every day day by day like uh, there is a buzzword called as artificial intelligence cyber security data management software development software development then in iot all these terms the modern requirement especially uh, required here is like uh, the technology the person who have it skills with uh, specialized in any one of the technologies like uh, artificial intelligence uh, then cyber security how the companies or traditional operations are happening how the how can we uh, transform using the innovative ideas and uh, requirements in innovative ideas uh, and innovative applications to convert our uh, applications uh, convert the convert uh, our operations more simpler and faster that is the requirement 
So this is the skilled way workforce requirement chart. Uh, among that global demand for IT professionals, IT uh, skills required in sub saharan region uh, at various levels. So there, there has been a survey, the same survey which has been released by uh, which has been uh, which has been released by the world bank which says like uh, the demand significantly how exceeds about supply okay so the global african requirement for basic skill requirement uh, then intermediate skill and advanced level skill so the global market skill requirement uh, especially if you take about this chart in sub sahara african region basic skill requirement uh, requirement is like just 0.4 then now availability is 0.9. The intermediate skill requirement uh, just rec is 1.5. Then availability is 1.4. Uh, so when it comes to the third area, there were advanced skill requirements. The requirement is 1.4. The availability is 1.2 million. So which means like uh, there is a huge vacuum uh, available, especially for the skilled resource uh, IT professionals, especially in the sub saharan region of Africa. So if you are familiarized yourself with any one of these specialized skills in data analytics, uh, like uh, data management, then uh, also like artificial intelligence skills, developing uh, software, all these things are always like uh, have a very good avenue. So when next I'm taking into the today's topic, uh, global connectivity, what the term defines, how Texla is training the graduates in terms of uh, global connectivity. Global connectivity is an interconnected uh, platform or web, which links people, then devices, systems, and organizations across the globe, which means like it seems like a buzzword like a global connectivity where it, it's a drive force behind the ability to communicate or exchange information across uh, the geographical locations. This is a simple definition which has been uh, defined in uh, which has been given. So what is the advantage of this global connectivity? Uh, it is enables real-time communications uh, with the stakeholders or like uh, or any point of uh, like a connect, connection to whom you want to connect which fosters the international collaboration and which drives the economic growth by opening up the global market. The foundation of, for cultural exchange, global awareness, bringing diversified perspective to our fingertips, especially it is a uh, global connectivity is something like uh, we can uh, we can share the global thoughts, global ideas, global operations through online, number one. Number two, we can uh, we can use we can open up our uh, business opportunities uh, through real time communications. Uh, there are a lot of tools are available. So that is the basic uh, idea behind this. In the digital ecosystem, in the digital ecos, for example, in a digital ecosystem, networks are uh, there are these are the components which supports uh, to strengthen the global uh, connectivity. Number one, digital ecosystem. In the digital ecosystem, network of interconnected or digital platforms and tools uh, like uh, social media, search engines, and cloud services are a part of it. Maybe we are, uh, by simple term, we are saying that like it uh, through some uh, platforms, we can uh, have our uh, global connections. Then the basic requirement for this is like uh, internet facility along with uh, some defined softwares which can uh, manage the flow of this flow of this one then another important one is data transmission we need to have uh, connections in terms of uh, availability of sources for example it may be availability of sources in terms of uh, uh, connections through wired or wirelesses they're not major technology contribution for uh, today's world is like uh, cloud computing then uh, Internet of Things, cybersecurity, and interoperability. So, where uh, the cloud computing is the place where, like, uh, we can access, we can, we can uh, globally share the resources uh, in terms of storing information. That is data storage, and we can access the information. Whatever the information we are storing, storing that information is available in twenty. Uh, that, that information is available twenty four into seven. Okay, that, that information is available 24 into 7. Anytime, anywhere, you can access the informations. 
So that is the cloud computing technology. This is the technology which acts as a backbone for a global connectivity. Using this technology, we can uh, play multiple uh, things over here. For example, like uh, we can uh, the same, uh, for example, uh, if you are saying a case here, for example, uh, you want to discuss, uh, you want to share the resources uh, uh, with your uh, supervisor or whomsoever, maybe in remote location. You can have the shared uh, like uh, file document with them. You can work work together the same document. The technology is enabling you to access the doc same document which has been used by multiple uh, stakeholders. The next one is like Internet of Things. Uh, this is the one uh, which is also supporting us to monitoring the live uh, venues and locations uh, of availability of the things. For example, we can track a mobile phone. Uh, we can track a mobile phone user using the applications where exactly the mobile phone user is there now, which which under which like uh, which uh, network uh, which tower which location which area everything we can monitor so the same way like the vehicle monitoring the vehicle surveillance everything we can use uh, this one uh, for this uh, internet of things for example a truck uh, distribution company or a big company what we have now like uh, like uh, that online service providers like uh, especially for uh, in in africa we have yango in India, we have uh, different type of service providers the same way. So the Yango service, which enables you to go and uh, which enables the Yango service, which enables you to the service. We can we can live track our vehicle, whether the vehicle has been started to come and pick us, where the vehicle is moving now, exactly the driver is reaching towards the designation or is changing the road or something. Everything we can monitor live. So cyber security, the present day say, major issue is like uh, hackers uh, that globally, like the technology is uh, advantage, uh, positive technology have both positive and negative sides. If you think about like the positive side of the technology, like uh, which enables us to access the things on uh, board at our home itself through our hands via mobiles and other uh, sources. But even though like uh, we have a lot of uh, scams and threats, uh, like uh, some intruders may intrude and uh, grab your information, that is a big threat for now. So these technological advantage advancements like uh, the negative side, we can we can we can uh, enable, we can stop, uh, sorry, we can disable through the uh, advanced uh, tools and uh, technologies. The next one is uh, interoperability, which means like uh, this one is heterogeneous uh, devices. For example, uh, across the globe, people may use like different type of uh, technologies. People may use different type of technologies. The technology may be in the form of technology, may be in the form of uh, like uh, Android or uh, iPhone like any type of technologies we can use uh, to access the same uh, information. So global connectivity, how the Tesla American University is supporting you uh, to enable the global connectivity. So what is the advantage of Tesla American University? How Tesla American Uni University is contributing to train the professionals uh, in terms of like uh, professionals in terms of uh, like uh, global connectivity. Texla American University's operation is uh, purely on uh, e-platforms, especially like uh, we are uh, using uh, e-learning platforms to train our students. We have a dedicated learning management system which enables uh, students to remotely access the uh, information wherever he or she is uh, sees there. Then the system is available on the login module of the system. The student can log in any time or any available time. The student may be like uh, the student may be like have access. Then uh, the student is enabled to have online assignments and online uh, test. At the same time, they have a provision to connect their uh, mentors through online. So they can uh, do the assessments through online that is a provision we have the for example the examination has been uh, like planned in a way uh, that like uh, internal and external assessments student may have uh, provision to uh, take their online test 
to complete their uh, internal assessments at the same time they have a chance to have access uh, they have chance to have access through their uh, assignments through online they have chances to have online so the course has been uh, classified into different modules the module have a different materials the module have different materials the module have different materials so the module material is available always in the platform okay so because of this like the all the classrooms for on campus students uh, especially well equipped here the lecturers have a provision to use modern aids at the same time like they can use the online references all the classrooms has been powered or equipped with uh, all the classrooms and powers are equipped with uh, like uh, internet facilities so we do organize uh, through like a global connectivity we do organize some lectures uh, we do organize some lectures with uh, online experts remotely across the globe so across the globe we used to have uh, some lectures so industry lectures through experts practical sessions through simulators uh, so for example the program what we are having what uh, the programs what we are having here uh, so which have like uh, we have to most of the the, the model is made basically hands-on model so we used to support the students to learn through simulated tools uh, for their application development or whatever the networks we have network uh, practical assessment and assignments so uh, we do have online uh, classes it's a mandatory for the students so uh, the lectures are also part of it like the lectures can uh, deliver the lectures and they do, they used to interact face to face they used to interact the students face to face in addition to that texel american university have collaborations and partnerships with various uh, globally uh, recognized agencies and bodies so which enables the students which can uh, they can be part of texela they can be a part of texela and they can have access to global uh, get a global uh, vision and a global idea texela in additionally texela american university have a e library facility which has been subscribed by uh, like uh, which has been a subscription of a different uh, e resources from different publishers whoever the student uh, they can they can have access of the e resources also so additionally like uh, we need to we are having an excellent platform which can which may have uh, which may have enable students to guide online uh, platform which may guide the student uh, to get a mentorship uh, through like uh, lectures or head of the department or senior management of the university so this is the way texla american university is contributing uh, to training the training the students in these training the students uh, in the global arena so for uh, with this uh, just uh, i want to add up a few things here about the programs we are offering especially to take you to advanced uh, advanced uh, technologies Texla American University is offering the following programs, especially BSc in Information Technology, BSc in Artificial Intelligence, BSc in Cyber Security, BSc in Digital Forensics, uh, BSc in Software Development, BSc in Data Warehousing and Management. All these programs has been accredited uh, by the uh, Higher Education Authority of uh, Zambia. All the program has been offered through dual mode, on campus mode, and uh, like a distance and blended learning model. Our distance and blended learning model is a bit a hybrid model, whereas like the students can interact with the lecturers periodically every week, and the same time student can do their uh, work online. Okay, so. Uh, these modern programs especially uh, to fulfill and cater the requirement of uh, fulfill or cater the requirements of the uh, global demand uh, especially in sub sahara region the skilled professional requirement is still there is a big gap so anyone can train or bring uh, or anyone can train themselves as an expert in artificial intelligence or cyber security or forensics sciences or development and warehousing so they may have a very good chances uh, for their uh, for it's a very good chance for them to go and face the real time challenges so the successful graduates who are part of here is we have uh, successful graduates the graduates 
working across the globe as various positions in terms of IT projects handling as a manager level, then an analyst, security analyst, data scientist, or intelligent uh, business intelligent developer, then uh, artificial intelligence products manager, consultants, robotic engineers, cyber security engineer, analyst, all these areas where our students are progressing and uh, successfully gathering. So with this uh, remarks, I conclude my session. Uh, once again, thank you for uh, connecting with us. So Texla is a being uh, education <coughs> provider across the globe. So Texla is always contributing uh, to bring out the skills inside the uh, students on various vertexes and various sectors. So that's what Texla's new introduction introduction of programs in terms of artificial intelligence. This program is basically designed uh, to gather knowledge about like uh, technologies, uh, what is artificial intelligence, what are all the technologies behind this one, then what are all the tools specifically used uh, and uh, used to prepare an application for artificial intelligence. So with this, I conclude my session. Thank you.